Let's get up around artillery post. Explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Come on, run! on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Archer. We'll have a better view. Up here, Archer. Quick. They're coming through the fields. Okay. Come on. Let's pick them off before they get too close. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. 
We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. Here! <laughs> You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam. Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusor? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. Of the In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's it. This goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. Here. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because 
The last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like... like our luck has turned. You know? I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Susan! Strauss, you here? Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of out. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around and see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Worley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful.
Uncle Tacitus. I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Le Cay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? Uh, hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody get me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We... we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. 
Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, the United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth... Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Everyone get down! <laughs> Ask everyone you can... Fucking phone me! This is real bad. Stay down, Ollie.
saved us, Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. I'm sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's Tonka hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss I. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're going to hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm going to go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. White, you okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Blue Country. Yes. 
Well, I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too, willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. <laughs> How you doing, boy? We need to get this. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge upriver, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. Ah, it's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. Easy! I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom. spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here... It's not a crazy idea. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Huh? 
definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Then who do the carrying? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Quick, Arthur. Dog spit! That was close. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Throw it into the cave. Hey. Go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. Yeah. 
It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Street, it'll be easier to walk from there. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Group got it. Oh, my darling. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dort, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, your majesty. You... Take her. <sighs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. 